Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, Engineer Cinco from CLNP Fiber Manufacturing. Last time, guys, we discussed regarding some um, world problems related to uh, rectangle quadrilaterals. Now, this time, I will discuss to you some world problem uh, involving um, parallelogram quadrilaterals. Okay? Parallelogram world problems. So, hey guys, I have here uh, example number one. Uh, problem it states that a parallelogram floor having a dimensions of 10 meters by 6 meters with included angle of 60 degrees okay uh, the dimension of the floor guys mentioned here is 10 meters by 6 meters but with included angle of 60 degrees okay which is need to be tiles mm. so if the tiles to be used is 40 cm by 40 cm main centimeter by 40 centimeter calculate the quantity of tiles required so guys for this particular problems as you can see um, the floor dimension is given 10 meters by 6 meters and having included 60 degrees Okay, na solution. Parallelogram. Okay. With the height. How much dimension? 10 meters. Okay, this one is the 10 meters, the longer side, and the shorter side is 6 meters. Okay, but take note, guys, the included angle is also given this area, this portion. Okay. How much? 60 degrees. Okay, so now we have here a diagram for a parallelogram. Now, the requirement in this problem, guys, is to calculate or to estimate how many tiles need to be used uh, in order to tiles this uh, floor, okay? So, first, we need to find the H dimension, okay? This value, okay? Solving for H, okay? H means or uh, the actual width or the height. Okay, so we can use uh, some trigonometric function since this is a perfect triangle. Okay, this one, guys, it's a perfect triangle or a right triangle. Okay, so as we, we all know before, using trigonometric to find the value of this H, we can use. Okay, sine 60 degrees is equal to opposite, guys, right? H over the hypotenuse. How much hypotenuse? This one, 6 meters. Okay. So, to simplify this expression, H will be how much? Okay. So, it will be sine 60 degrees, sine 60 degrees times 6 meters. It's equal to 5.2, 5.2 meters, okay? Now we have all so the value of h. Okay. Since the area of a parallelogram as we studied earlier is equal to the base times the height, right? If this is the, if it is the base, 
and this is the height so we can find the area of the parallelogram okay area means a is equal to b times the height right b times the height okay is equal to how much the base it is given 10 meters okay 10 meters times how much the calculated height it is this one guys 5.2 meters okay so how much the area for this parallelogram area will be okay 10 times 5.2 which is equal to 52 square meter okay 52 square meter okay this is the area now we need to find the area of uh, one uh, tiles or single tiles which is given here uh, as we all know the dimension of a uh, single tiles is 40 cm by 40 cm to be used so we need to find the area of this uh, single tile okay now for the area for the okay? area for the single tile okay is equal to how much dimension 40 cm by 40 cm okay 40 cm times 40 cm means centimeter guys cm is centimeter okay 40 times 40 is 1600 square centimeter okay or centimeter squared okay per tile okay okay this is the area of a single tile now knowing this area single time single tile uh we can calculate the number of tiles to be used using this estimated uh, area but take note guys the units are different so we need uh, convert this area into centimeter squared or square centimeter in order to have a consistent units because we cannot directly uh, estimate having different units so we need to convert the area into a square centimeter okay now okay then converting the area converting then converting the area from square into square centimeter from square meter we need to convert into square centimeter okay so how much area 52 square meter times how many centimeter in every meter or in every one meter one meter is having 100 centimeter okay so squared so how much how much guys 52 times 100 square centimeter will be 520,000 520,000 square centimeter this will be cancelled okay so we have already now the area of the floor in terms of the square centimeter 
therefore <clears throat> number of tiles therefore number of tiles is equal to total area this one guys 520,000 square centimeter divided by the area of single tile how much the area of single tile as we computed earlier it is mentioned here 1600 centimeter per tile okay? 1600 centimeter square centimeter per tile so equals 520,000 divided by 1600 is equal to how much guys? Okay, 5 to 0 or 520,000 divided by 1,600 is equal to 325 times. Right? It's equal to 325 pieces. Okay. So this is the final answer for this particular uh, problem since the required is the quantity of tiles to be used so there are 325 pieces of tiles to be used but some uh, some people guys ha actually in actual practice uh, they will buy more than 325 pieces the reason why they want to buy some extra tiles because uh, for we for some breakage during handling and uh, delivery so sometimes they will uh, buy more at least five percent of the quantity because we don't know what will happen in the actual site during uh, making the tiles it will sometimes to be break so the owner or the the how uh, house will buy more than 25 pieces but the minimum is 25, okay? So this is the final answer for this particular parallelogram word problems. Okay, guys. Um, I will give you another uh, example uh, after this video. Uh, some more uh, wa uh, word problem related to parallelogram. Hi, guys. Um, we have here another example or example number two regarding uh, parallelogram word problems as I mentioned earlier so it is state here a perimeter of a parallelogram is 10 meters okay perimeter is 10 meters given okay. now the length of shorter side is one fifth of the total perimeter take that guys huh? the length of the shorter side is one fifth of the total perimeter then find the length of the sides so we are talking about how much the length of the shorter sides and the longer sides okay now solution our par parallelogram is okay will be the shorter side A and the longer side B okay. now as we all know the shorter side is given which is one fifth of the total perimeter okay. P means perimeter how much a perimeter given here 10 meters okay 10 meters and the shorter side, uh, which is A, A is equal to one fifth of the total perimeter. Okay? One fifth of total perimeter. P means perimeter. Now substitute, guys, the value of perimeter. So A is equal to one fifth times how much perimeter, which is 10 meters. Okay? 10 meters. So A, shorter side, uh, shorter uh, length, 10 times 1 fifth is equal to 2 meters. Okay? 2 meters. 
So this guys is equal to this one a is equal to two meters. Okay, be a. Yeah. Okay. Now we have already calculated the shorter side, which is two meters. Now uh, we need to solve also the longer side since this is the required in this particular problem. Longer side. Okay. So perimeter. Okay. Perimeter is equal to total length for this uh, or for this particular parallelogram is equal to two times e plus b. Okay, e plus b. Shorter side and the longer side. Okay, b. Now we have. Uh, given the perimeter which is 10 meters okay 10 is equal to 2 times shorter side is already calculated it is 2 meters okay plus this one is the required okay this is uh, unknown so this will be b now to simplify further this expression uh over 2 over 2 so this will be cancelled so 10 divided by 2 is 5 right okay is equal to copy this to 2 plus b the longer side b is the longer side okay so uh, this uh, rearranging will be or applying a uh, distributive property as we studied before 5 minus 2 is equal to b okay therefore b is equal to 5 minus 2 equal to 3 meters okay so we have already calculated the shorter side and the longer side therefore the dimensions therefore the dimensions For this, the dimensions for this particular particular parallelogram is equal to sorry to a is equal to two meters and b is equal to three meters. So this is the final answer for this particular problem guys so i hope uh, guys you understand our examples related to this parallelogram and uh, i'm hoping that this will be helpful to those students who are studying um, high schools and even for colleges so again guys kindly subscribe our channel so that you will miss out our uh, uh, next video uh, and again, thank you for watching and have a nice day.